Here's everything we know about the KTM 490 Duke. Speculation about the KTM 490 has had bikers clutching onto their hearts in anticipation. KTM has been hard at work over the past two years expanding its reach, and the European manufacturer is about to score massively with the Indian population, which also happens to be its biggest market. With its KTM 500 EXCF crushing it as a dual sport machine, the company has set its sights 10cc lower with the KTM 490 Duke and its more free-spirited cousin, the KTM 490 Adventure. While the company has garnered some success with the 2021 KTM 390 Duke and its predecessors, it didn't really have an answer for powerful under 600cc sports bikes like the Honda CB500F. Speculation about the KTM 490 has had bikers clutching onto their hearts in anticipation and you could feel relief sweep across the biker community when its 2022 launch was officially tabled by KTM CEO Stefan Purer. Stefan made it clear that the bike will don a parallel twin engine similar to that of the KTM 890-790s, just watered down to 500cc. We will be seeing years of experience and R&D from the Austrian company's lower-range sub-400cc bikes and top-tier bikes like the upcoming 2021 KTM 2190 Super Adventure S poured into the KTM 490 to expand the KTM arsenal of beginner bikes. Here is what we unearthed about the KTM 490 Duke, and a showcase of what it will be packing. Side note. The photos used do not represent the actual KTM 490 Duke, as they haven't been availed yet. The KTM 490 Duke will most likely be coming first to India, sorry America. According to Pirer, the new 500cc platform is being developed at the Bajaj R&D Center in Pune, joining hands with KTM's R&D team. The platform is meant to be a stepping stone for their existing 390 Duke customers to get onto bigger bikes, retailing in developed markets as an A2 license bike, and as a premium option in developing markets. The model range sculptured from the 500cc platform, however, may not necessarily be put together in India. Purer states that the relocation of their 790 engine production to China fell right in place with their anticipated cost cuts and production efficiency. There is more than a fat chance that they will be replaying the scene with the 500cc models, outsourcing production to the Austrian company's partner, CF Moto, in China. India is poised to get the first look at the completed product, with the country having taken over the reins from the US in 2019 as the bike manufacturer's biggest destination for their products. However, it is their lesser powered offerings, the KTM RC125 and the 200 Duke that are generating this strong tailwind in market dominance. The country has been particularly keen on growing their supersport segment as well, recording a 44% jump in sales since KTM touched ground in the Indian market. With a staggering 37 million riders in the country, KTM would have to be utterly blind to ignore the opportunity here. To power the KTM 490 Duke, the R&D team pulled the script right out of the KTM 790 Duke, with everything else pointing to a standard Duke. While the parallel twin 490s bear a great deal of novelty, they aren't quite that revolutionary. The mid-displacement models read more than a few pages off of the already successful 790-890s offerings that KTM has had in its league since 2018. The 790 Duke was actually KTM's first parallel twin bike, joining KTM's engine offerings of the single and V-twins. According to a render from Indian Auto's blog, the subframe of the KTM 490 Duke mirrors that on the KTM 790 Duke, while the taillight and fender are borrowed from the KTM 890 Duke R. The exhaust from the render, however, will most likely change as it assimilates aspects of the 390 Duke, which bears a single-cylinder engine. The parallel twin running on the 490 Duke will be putting out 55 to 60 HP, with a maximum torque of 50 newton meters. Commanding it will be a six-speed automatic. We can't quite peg down its acceleration just yet, but we estimate that the 490 Duke will be topping out at over 200 kilometers per hour. Put a peg on that for now. True to modern KDMs, the bike will invariably feature a digital display covering all grounds of feedback. The 110 70ths R17 front tire and 150 60ths R17 will sit on top of 17 wheels which will be brought to a halt by a single disc braking system on both wheels. 
The front suspension will feature dual WP Apex USD forks with WP Apex monoshock at the rear. The parallel twin running on the 490 Duke is also speculated to be used on other platforms like sister brand Husqvarna. Ready your wallet. Here is our speculative price for the KTM 490 Duke. KTM are hardly being forthcoming about the absolute launch date and price of the 490 Duke. We can however picture the bike turning up on the market early 2022, the push undoubtedly impacted by the lockdown. Launch price in Delhi, India, is thought to hover slightly over the $4,700 mark, so we can expect the price point to climb quite a bit higher to ship the 490 Duke to Western markets. We'll keep you posted. India is poised to get the first look at the completed product, with the country having taken over the reins from the US in 2019 as the bike manufacturer's biggest destination for their products. However, it is their lesser-powered offerings, the KTM RC125 and the 200 Duke that are generating this strong tailwind in market dominance. The country has been particularly keen on growing their supersport segment as well, recording a 44% jump in sales since KTM touched ground in the Indian market. With a staggering 37 million riders in the country, KTM would have to be utterly blind to ignore the opportunity here. To power the KTM 490 Duke, the R&D team pulled the script right out of the KTM 790 Duke, with everything else pointing to a standard Duke. While the parallel twin 490s bear a great deal of novelty, they aren't quite that revolutionary. The mid-displacement models read more than a few pages off of the already successful 790-890 offerings that KTM has had in its league since 2018. The 790 Duke was actually KTM's first parallel twin bike, joining KTM's engine offerings of the single and V-twins. According to a render from Indian Auto's blog, the subframe of the KTM 490 Duke mirrors that on the KTM 790 Duke, while the taillight and fender are borrowed from the KTM 890 Duke R. The exhaust from the render, however, will most likely change as it assimilates aspects of the 390 Duke, which bears a single-cylinder engine. The parallel twin running on the 490 Duke will be putting out 55 to 60 HP, with a maximum torque of 50 newton meters. Commanding it will be a six-speed automatic. We can't quite peg down its acceleration just yet, but we estimate that the 490 Duke will be topping out at over 200 km per hour. Put a peg on that for now. True to modern KTMs, the bike will invariably feature a digital display covering all grounds of feedback. The 110 R17 front tire and 150 R17 will sit on top of 17 wheels which will be brought to a halt by a single disc braking system on both wheels. The front suspension will feature dual WP Apex USD forks with WP Apex monoshock at the rear. The parallel twin running on the 490 Duke is also speculated to be used on other platforms like sister brand Husqvarna. Ready your wallet. Here is our speculative price for the KTM 490 Duke. KTM are hardly being forthcoming about the absolute launch date and price of the 490 Duke. We can however picture the bike turning up on the market early 2022, the push undoubtedly impacted by the lockdown. Launch price in Delhi, India, is thought to hover slightly over the $4,700 mark, so we can expect the price point to climb quite a bit higher to ship the 490 Duke to Western markets. We'll keep you posted.